Hey everybody, welcome back to High Point. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Are you ready for another big ad Well, actually we're not going to do a big adventure today. Because from what I understand, there's a great big holiday coming up this week. And I'm pretty sure I should say to you, Happy Valentine's Day! Why didn't anybody say Happy Valentine's Day back? What? What do you mean it's not Valentine's Day? I'm pretty sure it's Valentine's Day on Thursday, isn't it? It's not? Well, is there, a, is there a holiday this week? Oh, so at least I'm not wrong there. But what holiday is it? Oh, it's Thanksgiving. How could I forget Thanksgiving with all the turkey and the mashed potatoes and the stuffing and the pumpkin pie? And how sweet potatoes. I, how could I forget any of that? I just don't know. Boy, that was that made me feel terrible. But I, 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 I do have to say, I do love Thanksgiving. It is actually my favorite holiday of the year. And no, it's not just because of the food. It's because Thanksgiving gives us a chance to think about all the things that we can be thankful for. We can be grateful for so much. Guys, think of all the things that you could be thankful for, even in just one day. It's pretty amazing. And then you add in not just all those normal things, but the things that God does for us. Wow, we have so much to be thankful for. And with that, I, I want to talk to you a little bit about why and how we can be grateful and thankful to God. See, God, guys, has many names that describe who he is and what he is like. And today we're going to look at three of those. The very first thing we're going to do is let you know that he guides us, he protects us, and he provides for us. Those are the three things that we're going to look at today. In fact, we're going to look at, in the Bible, some psalms that give us a whole lot of reasons to thank God. In verse 26 of Psalm 136, the phrase, His love endures forever, is repeated 26 times. The writer was emphasizing that God's love and care for us, it will never end. By the end of the chapter, you get the idea that maybe God's love endures forever. Because it's true. We are going to emphasize today how thankful we are to God for guiding us and providing for us and protecting us. We're going to do this, and I'm going to need your help, so I really hope you'll help me. Will you? Okay, good, good. We're going to do this by repeating, thanks, God, throughout this whole lesson. Whenever you hear me say, God is good, you will shout, Thanks, God. So let's try it, okay? <clears throat> God is good. I heard a really loud thanks, God, but I think you can be even louder. Let's show God how much we really are thankful to him. Ready? <clears throat> God is good. Whoa. You guys almost knocked me right off my feet. I think we're ready to start. Let's begin. First, we're going to look at that God guides us. Guys, God deserves our thanks for all the mighty things that he has done. In Psalm 136, the writer remembers all the wonders that God performed for his people when he rescued them from slavery in Egypt. God is good. Awesome job, guys. God divided the Red Sea and guided his people to walk through to the other side when their enemy was chasing them. God is good. God destroyed the enemy, Pharaoh, and his whole army that were chasing his people. When they got to the Red Sea, the waters closed back up on them. God is good. God guided his people then through the desert for 40 years. God is good. He guided his people with a, a cloud in the day and fire at night. They, they, they always knew when it was time to move and which way they should go. God is good. He is so good. 
<laughs> Guys, maybe there's been a time when God has guided you or, or maybe members of your family. Maybe he guided your family to live in the community that you live in or attend the church that you go to. Maybe he guided you to watch this video. God is good. God will continue, guys, to guide you because he loves and cares for you. He might guide you in friendships or in school. He might guide you at home or in decisions that you have to make. You can always ask him to guide you because he is faithful and he will always guide you. God is good. God also provides, guys. The writer of the Psalms gave thanks to God for providing for his people in different ways. God provided food and water for his people and all the creatures. When the Israelites were in the desert, they became really thirsty. I mean, it is kind of dry in the desert. They were very thirsty, and there was no water. And instead of being parched and thirsty, God made water come out of a rock. Not just a little bit of water, but enough for everybody to drink as much as they needed. God is good. Every day for many years, God provided food on the ground. It was, it was called manna. For the people to pick up, they just could walk outside and there it was and they'd pick it up. They'd get just enough for that day. Guys, he also sent birds to fly down to them so they would have meat to eat. So they weren't just eating bread, they also got to have meat. God satisfies those who are thirsty and he fills those who are hungry. God is good. God provides healing for his people when they are sick and even when they're near death. God is so good. God provides light through his creation. The sun, the moon, the stars. God is good. God provides for his people too. God is good. And guys, God also protects. God protects his people from danger. He freed his people from their enemies when they were slaves in Egypt. God is good. God destroyed those who threatened his people at the Red Sea. God is good. And when God began to give the people their own land, he destroyed the kings and armies who came up against them. God is good. Nothing happens to us, guys, that God isn't aware of. Nothing catches him by surprise. Nothing takes him off guard. God always has his arms wrapped around you. Danger might get close to you, but no enemy and no danger can ever take you away from God's care. You will never be lost to him. He'll always keep you as long as you're there. In what ways does God protect you? Yes, absolutely. He makes sure that you have food to eat and a roof over your head. That's providing and protecting. Yes, he makes sure that you have a mom and dad who love you and a grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles and all these people, friends and everyone that, that are there for you. That's his protection. Absolutely. What are some things that you guys can do when you feel like danger is near? Oh, I, I love that one. Very first one I heard was, we can pray. That's right. We can ask God to help us and protect us. Yes, yes, we can read our Bible. Absolutely, guys. In the Bible, there are promises that God has spoken, and they will never fail. He's never lied, and he's not going to start. You can read your Bible. Absolutely. Guys, God is always near you, and you can always call on him for his help. But the truth is, we don't always feel like being thankful. Sometimes we're cranky, or we're crabby, or we've just had a bad day. Sometimes we're too tired to say thanks, and sometimes, well, the truth is we're just not happy, and whatever we've gotten, we just, we're just not really very happy with it, and we don't feel like saying thanks, or, or maybe we just don't even think about it. And we can be that way with God, too. We may not think things are going very well, so there isn't a whole lot to be thankful about. But when you have asked for God's help, even when you can't see it, he is at work. Let me repeat that. If you've asked for God's help, 
even if you don't see it in that moment, he is at work. He is doing what he does. <laughs> God is so good. We can always thank him for being with us, for hearing our prayers, and for working things out for our good because we love him and because we're following him. If you've never made the decision to follow God, you can do that right now by asking Jesus to be a part of your life. He will forgive you of all the wrong that you have done and guide you in the direction he wants you to go with your life and with your choices. You can do that today. You can do it right now while we get ready to pray. If that's something that you want to do, I just want you to, when we're, our eyes are closed, I just want you to raise your hand. Nobody else will be looking around just between you and God. If that's a prayer you want to pray, I just want you to raise your hand. I know I can't see you, but God does, and that's what matters. So let's pray. Will you pray with me? Awesome. Thank you, God, for guiding us in our lives and in the choices we make. Thank you for providing food and clothes and water and a place to live. Thank you for those who love us and take care of us. Thank you for protecting us and keeping us close to you. And Lord, thank you for dying on the cross for us. That is the biggest thing we have to say thank you for, that you willingly gave up your life so that we could be with you. If you have raised your hand and you, you want Jesus to come in and, and be your personal Savior, you want to have that relationship with him, I just want you to repeat after me, Dear Jesus, I thank you that you love me. I thank you that you forgive me. Please, Jesus, forgive all of my wrong things, all of my sins. I love you, Jesus, in your name. Amen. Guys, the, the truth is that we can't see what's going to happen in our future, but God knows. When we trust him to guide us in choices that we make each day, we can trust that he is working for our good because he loves us and we've chosen to follow him. Since we don't know what will happen in the future, it sometimes feels kind of like we're blind. But we can listen to his word and his voice and he will guide us and give us direction. Remember guys, God guides us when we read the Bible, when we learn how we should live by reading it and choices that we should make by reading it. Lord, guys, we also, um, he also guides us, pardon me, I lost my spot. He guides us also when we listen to our Sunday school teachers and our parents and our pastors. I think we should just say thank you one more time for all the wonderful ways that he guides us, protects us, and provides for us. Will you say thank you with me? Thank you, God. That was a great job, guys. I know today's lesson is a little shorter than our normal high point, but I definitely wanted to make sure we took some time to look at why we should say thank you to God. And now, I hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving. I hope that you guys get all of the delicious food that you want, and that you're so full when you're done that you have to take a nap, because that's the best. And I hope that I'll see you back here next Sunday. Until then, whatever you do, Remember that you are loved so much by God and by us. I'll see you later. Bye.